This is Screecher Dan, Mr. Inestimable. Yes, and I'm here with Deadly Dragon Sound, Wickedness Sound. I don't want you to change nothing. Just keep focus. As Screecher Dan said, keep focus. I want you to keep focus. Deadly Dragon Sound. Understand? Oh, big people, you know? So, Screecher Dan. Yes, sir. <laughs> Live and in effect. Live and in effect. Why, oh, I tell you. Yes, man. It's a good thing. It's a pleasure, you know? Absolutely. Well, you know, one thing I want to do, you and I go way back to the days of the, the 90s, running around, flat push, going across studios, cutting way dubs and things. So, I just want to give people a little bit of knowledge about who you are and where you come from and all the crew and people that you've always represented. So, you came, you were born in Kingston, right? Born in Kingston. Born in Kingston. Yes. And come over to, to Brooklyn, how old? Brooklyn, I came when I came to Brooklyn. The very thing I hear from Rod, probably around 12 years old. 12 years old. Yeah. So you got the yard vibe? Yeah. Come over. Yeah, I used to go back and forth. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, back and forth like every year. Oh, okay. Until, until mommy couldn't afford it anymore. Yeah. So. <laughs> so the summers with the grandma. Yeah. No more. Yeah. All right. So when, when, you, when you first started getting into music, what were the first kind of early sounds that you were that you were going around listening to and playing with? Oh well, actually, even before I left Jamaica, I used to I used to just walk in school at Jamaica. But I'm in school, home on the street, imitating artists such as the Ninja, you know, even late late sounds and the Ninja, Sharky, the President, Rankin Trevor. Yes, sir. And as a little youth, you know, what I mean, Rankin Joe. All the originators. Yeah, and we see the love of Pontinus Day, you know, and all of our people say, Oh, Sweetie, I'm a father, the Godfather. So, when did you first start running into those guys, all the, the Flatbush crew of the Shaggy uh, and Red Pots and all them? Okay, actually, with this song playing in the background before, this is before um, Shaggy and Yeah, Red absolutely. And so, DJ Patel, all those songs were Those were 80 to Yeah, um, I did, um, during this 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 um, era, it was me, Knight Rider, yes. Bad Boy Stepping, Absolutely. Daddy Pecker, James Mann, Trevor Sparks, it was five of us. Oh, okay. Yes. A whole crew all together. All crew all together. Yes. You know what I mean? So, um, me and Trevor Sparks continue and we go on and make a song, Knight Rider. So, a couple of, couple of the guys from the original crew kind of say, you know what? It's um, this struggle. I love the music. But I don't think I can maintain the struggle. So, Absolutely. You know what I mean? Uh, my branch off, go to yeah. different, different things and whatever. So I continue. And 19, um, I believe it was 1991. Yes, indeed. That's where I met Sting. Sting. Yeah, to um, Sting International. Sting International. Yeah, you know what I mean? So when, we met, when I met Sting, then Sting had like the hottest. Hattest, hattest mixtape. Absolutely. Marching up the streets. He was definitely the mixtape king of yes, the day. Yes, definitely. I mean, nothing like it up to this day. So, I mean, but I actually met Red Fox. We okay. Had a, we, had a, um, we had a party on our black and um, president in Brooklyn. Okay. And somebody told me, yo, we're dragging down stairs, you know. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, we had a basement party. And, it's a red dragon downstairs. So actually, we go downstairs. So this is another red dragon. This. So it, we had him introduced, you know, himself to each other. And he was like, yo, we met you already. He said, well, we had him here before. Mm. In a club called uh, Calado and then in Vibes. Then you know, re, you know, recollect the memory. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and the rest was history after that. It's just me and him up to this day. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And after that, then um, Shaggy. How we link up with Shaggy now is, is through Pac-Man. Okay. You know, remember Pac-Man. Yeah. Pac-Man was part of the whole James Bond crew. The whole, yeah, yeah. Vital. That, that was the Vital family yes. back then. You know what I mean? So we, we still together anyway. Still, Absolutely. You know what I mean? But, still tight. Yeah. But Pac-Man was the one who, who, who used to hang with Shaggy mostly. Yeah. And um, Shaggy used to live in Brooklyn and every evening after school, everybody linked up a Shaggy crib. Oh, and yeah. Shaggy, have a, Shaggy had a, a sound system called Crystal. Crystal. Crystal I for at the oh, time. Oh, right, right, right. So we used to make enough noise in the house and sometimes Shaggy might have come over and I you know, like the vibes. Too much young boy in the house and so she sent him off to the, to the service, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So I didn't get locked down in the service yeah, for a couple so, of years. And that's how we met up at the Gulf War and all of that. Yeah. So.
you know what I mean, and everybody else that's come after, I can't remember in, in, in full details all the rest of the, 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 the crew, like, yeah, outside of the, there was just a, so much talent in that crew. Yeah. Nike Fungus, well, Trouble, Nike fungus, yeah. all them yeah. people, Daddy Silva, Daddy Silva. Daddy Silva. Daddy all the people. Fungus is actually um, the son Godfather. Oh yeah, yeah. He always liked that guy. I Nike. remember yeah. driving around with him. Always a good guy. Yeah, so very funny dude. Very yeah. talented. All, a matter of fact, all the outfits we used, we used to wear back then on, on shows, yeah, made by Nike. Nike oh. Fungus Taylor yeah. too. Yeah, uh, Taylor extraordinaire. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna play a tune. Uh, done by Sting International, Screechy Dan upon the tune. Yes. Came out on Signet Records, which is where I linked up with Screechy Dan. I was young, kind of running around doing whatever they would ask me to do. Big up to the man called Nolan Douglas Baines. Yes. Brought me in and truly helped teach me a lot about reggae music at the time. This one called Rough Tough on a wicked version of the drum McCorn. One show. Start, but after that, after that day, we like to get the whole thing mm. until one day the still call us up and I say, Yo, I'm taking a ride to Phillips Park to the studio. Mm. And um, we say, All right, we come along. And we will find out when Sting was on his way to mix um, at this year. So, oh, okay, at this okay. Year, at this year, was voice before this. Okay, the Dirt Man. Big, Dirt big Man. Yeah, so and we will still. You know, I drive to Long Island and vibe in on the Derek's man song so he could come up with some creative idea for the mix right. and stuff. But while the beat was playing, me and Fox that do the pose up again. The girls, you look so sharp. And Fox said, yeah, you remember that? He said, yes. <laughs> and when we reached the studio before, Sting even start mixing. Mm -hmm. He just mic up the, the whole thing. I said, yo, you remember that song? I, I was listening. I like it. Uh, I'm saying, run. Uh, run the track. And you know, usually you and somebody do a, a combination, uh, do it, I would call it. It usually be two diff two separate tracks. Yeah. It was one track. Just you and Fox on the mic, like, share the mic. No, well, actually, still set up two mics oh, in the okay. voice room. Um, Fox was on one mic, I was on the other mic. And nice. one track. One track. One take. From start to begin, no punchy, nothing. Nothing. Well, true. Yeah. And then that's, awesome. that's when they say history made. Yes. Because this tune will live forever. I'm going to play it now called Pose Off, Red Fox, Screechy Jam. Boom! All Generation. Run! Pose Off! We jeopardize a good thing that no kosher, and you can take your from history to Nova Scotia. Me now go vote you out like where them do to Porsche. You feel me? Because deadly dragon sound you run about ya. Yeah.